Hi, welcome to the Cult TV Sofa. This is a reaction video for the eighth episode of season three of Babylon 5 called Messages from Earth. You can now see the full reaction for this video on my Patreon channel. Check out the link in the description below. Last time we saw Command Officer David Corwin being promoted to a full lieutenant. This prompted the captain to ask Ivanova to sound him out to see if they could trust him with all the extra activities that they have going on at the moment. Alien parasites seem to have been brought aboard the station and were taking over lurkers from down below. Marcus was getting ranger reports when he realised that some of his contacts were not behaving as normal as usual, so he investigated. Marcus roped the doctor in to help him, but they were both captured by people that had been merged with the aliens. They discovered the people had actually volunteered to merge, as the aliens were long-lived creatures that watched everything that was happening and remembered it all, for the day when their knowledge would be required. Ivanova talked to David and realised that He's a loyal EarthGov officer that would not be a suitable person to bring into their fold. So let's see what happens in this episode. I'm going to put any relevant trivia that I find over here. And at the end of the reaction, I'll be discussing what happened and my thoughts about it. And I'm going to start it in 3, 2, 1. I haven't taken a vacation. Okay, okay, it's my fault. I had to leave coming. I just didn't take it. Need to have a vacation after three years. Especially that stressful job. I smell bacon and eggs. <laughs> How much it costs to bring eggs all the way out here before they spoil? You can smell bacon and eggs. <laughs> it's from Marcus. <laughs> I did him a favor. I, he asked what he could do for me in return, and I said, surprise me. Surprise? I haven't seen a fresh chicken egg in three years. They wouldn't be able to probably transport eggs, because... I can't remember how long it takes to travel from Earth to Babylon 5, but certainly a couple of days, isn't it? Um, well, I suppose they could transport them. Um, I'm surprised they haven't got like a little farm, though, on the station. I think I might have said this before. You know, let's have some chickens, some cows. They'd have milk and, and meat <laughs> at a premium. Um, yeah, I'm surprised they haven't. We'll just sit right here. <laughs> yeah, just watch it eat. Oh, someone's a ninja. I think I'd rather have the staff than the weapons that they've got. Better reach. Who's she? <laughs> well, that was lucky. It was all set up that way. So she's someone that people want to kill. Don't recognise her. And obviously Marcus is desperately trying to protect her. As Senate hearings into the death of President Luis Santiago enter their sixth week. Sixth week. Clark's personal position has surfaced. These records seem to indicate that the illness may have only been a convenient alibi. So that's the doctor that came to the station and they protected him. He was put into hiding. So they've now... This is now the opportunity they were waiting for to bring out the evidence that he had. So yeah, that evidence on its own wasn't enough, but with the other stuff they've got and now his evidence as well, it's adding up to a, um, a proper sort of trial. Um, sixth week. It's quite a long time. Because they're protecting her still. So who are the men attacking her? Businessmen. Of a sort. Mm -hmm. Why her? What'd she do? Yeah. Nothing. Yet. I was assuming she's got information about this, the president then, and she's going to try and um, give evidence. That's why we've seen this news clip um, or new segment about the the, the president. Um, and those guys attacking were the president's men, basically trying to stop her, from, uh, trying to withhold the information that she's got. That's my guess. Take five, I'll be okay. So he's still in confinement. That's good, the way it car it's carried on. 
I've taken the opportunity provided by my incarceration to meditate. He looks happy and content. <laughs> Sit down, Mr. Garibaldi. He does seem happy. Are you enjoying the Book of Shaquan? Just wish there were a translated version I could read. You know what's odd? You seem. It's taken know, ages to read it there. Than we're out there. Yeah. I'm writing it all down our mistakes and what must be done to correct them. Sounds like a bestseller. Can I see it? When it is done. Oh, the way he moved into the shadow then. The package you've been waiting for has arrived. What package? Hmm. It's right in from right to left. Seven years ago, I saw something. And after enough people said I was nuts, I figured I'd shut up until I could find somebody to back up my story. Is she the package? She risked her life coming here. A lot of people want her dead. Why? Very mysterious. Give us the reason. It's very military music. Very, uh... I don't know. Very odd. Oh, and they're in the war room. So it's not um, Babylon 5's like, official business. For the past 12 years, I've been working for interplanetary expeditions. We conduct archaeological digs on other worlds in search of new technology. We've seen some of them. Um, the Doctor's friend, um, that alien, um, that device they put on him, it turned into, into a killing machine. Weren't they sponsored by them? Um, oh, I think there's somebody else as well, but I can't remember. Stationed on Mars. And then one day our sonic probes picked up something 300 feet beneath the surface of Syria Planum. It had to have been there at least a thousand years. Ah! A thousand years! All the others are either dead or missing. Sooner or later they'll find me and I'll disappear. Before that happens, someone has to know. God, that's pretty horrible knowing that the information that you have is basically going to get yourself killed at some stage. But she's telling them, so it's putting them all at risk as well. One of our workers who was clearing away the dirt accidentally touched it with his bare hand. He died instantly. Whoa. For six days, we just sat there waiting while unmarked shuttles moved in and out of the area surrounding the dig. So what how much of Mars they've taken over? I mean, we saw that this dig, there's a lot of empty space around it. Um, so we know there's cities on Mars, but I don't know how much um, of Mars has actually been colonised by this time. But even, it's not like they've, um, oh, I can't think of the word, um, oh, I can't think, it's not like they've terraformed, that's the word, they haven't terraformed it, so it's not like it's all, um, uh, you can't breathe on the surface. They have to have equipment to be able to breathe outside. It looks like all the buildings are sealed and um, protected from the atmosphere. So it's still it's not a great place to live, by the looks of it. That's when I saw it. At first, I thought it was destroying the other ship. Cutting out... So they said that the ship they found was over a thousand years old. Was it still viable after all that time? A sound that just reaches right into your brain and rips it. That'll be a yes. They warned us that if we told anyone what we'd seen, there would be unfortunate consequences. I would have thought they'd have killed them all. They have. <laughs> but I would have thought they would have killed them all immediately and just blamed it on an accident or something. Which would have got them all in one go. I can't believe that they'd have spit them up and let them go with that sort of knowledge. I was piloting a shuttle on Mars around the same time. We went down. I saw part of what she just described. What part? Of this. Well, that's a bit weird. He's never mentioned this before. They found another one of these things. This time on Ganymede. In three days, they're going to take it back to Earth. Study its secrets and learn how to use it against the other races and, if necessary, against our own people. That's not going to be a good idea, taking it back to Earth. They don't want it so we can fight these things. They want us to become more like them. We've made arrangements to get you into Minbari space. Okay. that That's probably good. That would mean she's probably safe. They're not going to be able to get people to Minbar together. I need to think about this for a while. Alone. 
Glenn, stay. <laughs> that's not really time alone, is it? That's t that's time with Delenn. <laughs> Where's the chief? He's been in some meeting with the captain all afternoon. Something you want me to tell him? Mm, it's going to be raising his suspicions again. You know, sometimes watching them like this, without them even knowing we're here, Roger. makes you feel a little like God, doesn't it? Oof. Watching's one thing, it's the actions you take are uh, something altogether different. So is that like his Earth uh, military sort of insignia? Is this sort of questioning? Are you sure you wish to go through with this? That's a big thing for him to take it off. I mean, that's been his his career military. He was in the war and that's going to mean a lot to him. We have got to stop that ship before it leaves Ganymede. Delenn and I will take the White Star into Earth-controlled space. Our own ships will be sent in to destroy you. You'll be completely outgunned. They don't know who they are, who that the White Star is, so they wouldn't recognize it. So what are you going to do when they open fire? You're going to fire back? Hmm. What if you're captured? We won't be captured. And he's taking his uniform off. Yeah, it's like he's... he's um. Ah, not sure, but he's, yeah, he took his uniform off to make that decision. He's basically going up against Earth. Um, so he wasn't going to do that whilst wearing the uniform. That's quite a symbolic thing. It's a two-day jump to Earth space. Two days. Okay, so it takes two days to get to Leaving Earth. Leaving behind my identity card, my uniform, command rank, anything that could lead back here if something should go wrong. Mm. Obviously, if they get hold of his body, they would probably identify him. I've left instructions in my desk for a cover story if we don't come back. Hmm. I'll send out my Star Fury and use the auto-destruct sequence. And say so it was an accident. We'll provide the organic mass to simulate a casualty. <laughs> it's thought it all through. The only problem is if they get captured uh, in the White Star. We all knew that sooner or later we'd have to deal with Earth. Looks like it's sooner. So they're going to try and destroy the Shadow Ship, but as soon as they jump in, there'll be Earth ships coming to investigate what's going on and if they're attacked are they gonna attack back because that's a big thing him attacking earth ships I mean, that's gonna go against everything he believed that's weird him not in uniform but I understand the reason psychological reasoning behind it makes sense Yeah, he's got a lot weighing on his mind. He's a liaison to the Night Watch office back home. Earth has been sold out by our own people. High-ranking military officers, news media correspondents, even some of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. You're on the wrong side. We'll start making arrests in the next two months. The lists have already been drawn up. Again, I guess for the story, but why would that information would be given to them and why would he be telling all these people that such sensitive information two months they're going to be rounded up these people that's two months where their names would be leaked out um, and they'd have time to prepare or escape there's no way that people this far down the pecking order would be told this kind of information but again I get it's for the story but it doesn't make sense we're authorized to look into past history, social contacts, party affiliations. Whoa. Yeah, and Zach's really uncomfortable. Do we start suspecting everybody? No, of course not. Not them, but everyone else. For the other officers, we won't look at them unless we detect any unusual activity. Oh. Does anyone in this room know where the captain is? Mm. Well, plus, Zach's already got... Sus uh, suspicions is the wrong word, but he's curious about what the chief's getting up to in these meetings with everyone. He doesn't know what's happening there. So is he going to say something? Because that would be enough. Well, is that enough for them all of a sudden to start investigating the senior staff? I mean, ah, oh, that's so bad. He's keeping quiet. What's our position? 32 standard hours from our destination. You have been up almost 20 hours. Boy, he looks it. Like me, he's got a bit of uh, shadow there. Counter resistance at the end of our journey. You need to Would be prepared. Be to confront it rested. Yeah. Clear of mind. Yeah. 
What's the point in him sitting there just whilst we're in hyperspace? He's in the corridor. What's he doing? They don't look very comfortable. <laughs> yeah, I lie on my side, so I'd be no good. <laughs> I wondered when he would get some sleep. Now you have a most persistent attaché. Hmm. That's interesting. They haven't got their own quarters or anything. They they all sh um, sleep in the same area. It's a communal thing. Yeah, it's funny. Interesting. It's funny. This will be the closest I've been to Earth in four years. Hmm. On a mission against Earth, effectively. Uh, actually, no, it's not against Earth. That's that's the wrong thing to say. Against the bad things that are happening on Earth. He's doing it for Earth. So that was wrong, we would say that. Sound of rain hitting the roof at night. It always helped me fall asleep. I'd be up till oh, four or five o'clock in the morning studying. And... I used to do that. I was rubbish. It, I did my degree. I used to do all nighters before assignments were due in the next day and I used to do loads of work the night before. Uh, yeah, I used to live on uh, on Pro Plus <laughs> to keep me awake. My dad he knew I couldn't sleep, so we went outside. He got the garden hose. <laughs> so it did rain. <laughs> he stood there making it rain until I fell asleep. <laughs> I sometimes think he would have stood there for days if he had to. Well, if he went to that sort of trouble, yeah, he probably would have. Right now. Than anything else in the world, I wish it was through the rain. Rajas Dubena. What's that mean? <laughs> Basically, she said, Alexa, play rain music. <laughs> rain sounds. That literally, I could do that on my Alexa. <laughs> I mean, where are you in the ranks? Above? Mm. Below? Left, right, in a box by the door. Well, below her. If anything happens to the captain, I'm holding you personally responsible. Why? Ever since you've come here, we've had nothing but trouble. You're a loose cannon. But if you are right, it's and it not... was inevitable, why blame me? It's not his fault. All these things are happening. It's only, you only know it's happening because he's managing to get the information. If he didn't, all these things would be happening without the mail to stop it or do anything about it. Because we're going up against our own government. I don't know where the hell I fit in anymore, much less you. Hmm. And damn it, because I don't have anybody else to blame. Yeah, you do. There are plenty of people to blame. It's just that he's there in front of you. Subject is approaching target. Repeat, subject is approaching target. The shadow vessels use living creatures as their central core. Whoever steps inside merges with it. After that, it's fully functional. Sounds like they're on their way. He's disappeared inside the ship. They're too late. Baylor's name. It's awake. And destructive. Engines at maximum. Standby weapon system. Prepare to fire. Oh, that's quite cool. Bit pointless, but cool. <laughs> Still a lot more than an Earth cruiser will have against that thing. Fire. Yeah, but an Earth cruiser as well would be helpful to attack it. If it would attack it. Captain, its weapons are at full strength. If it hits us dead on, we cannot survive the blast. That's oh, with one hit. Jupiter, now we're going inside. We can't outfight it. Let's hope we can outthink it. That seems to be his strategy. He does tend to come up with ideas and plans to take out ships. No, there was no time to test it. Once inside the atmosphere of Jupiter, it may not be able to climb out of the gravity well. It's possible we may not be able to escape either. Hmm. If we haven't been tested. I mean, you'd, you did have some idea how much it could take. You can't just fly in there and keep going. The pressure at this depth is causing damage to the outer hall. Okay, so they have some idea. Well, you've turned 180 degrees, flying straight back at it. Everything you've got. If I were holding anything back, I would tell you. 
Okay, so it's just overshot. Okay, it couldn't turn back, so it's got crushed. That was a risky trick, though. We don't have this is the Earth Alliance destroyer. Oh, oh, it's the Agamemnon. It's his ship. You will surrender your vessel and prepare to be boarded. Oh, of all the ships. I think we are responsible for the attack on Ganymede. Oh, yeah. Yeah, an unknown ship appears, and uh, yeah, Ganymede base was attacked. They can wait us out, they can knock us down, or, or board us if we try to escape. Yeah, gotta be faster than them, though. Activate jump engines. Inside the atmosphere? Opening a jump point in a hydrogen rich atmosphere would be explosive. So, how is it gonna be explosive? Explosive to them going through? Explosive to the Agamemnon once they've gone through? So yeah, the Earth ship didn't know that they had jump engines, because no ship that size does. An unidentified alien ship attacked a research lab on Ganymede. Have they got pictures? The ship was pursued to Jupiter and destroyed by the EAS Agamemnon. Ah, it's destroyed. Because yeah, they don't want the people to think that they're weak and that um, a ship that destroyed the base on Ganymede escaped so yeah they destroyed it they took care of the problem yeah the important thing is we got away with it did they are there definitely no pictures or scans i would have thought the agamemnon would have picked up something any unusual behavior is to be reported and investigated we can grab Aldi, the captain captain was gone for four days All right that's suspicious where'd he go but i checked the access panel in his quarters hasn't been used since Monday. Two days to Earth, two days back. Unusual behavior. Hmm. The Ministry agrees. He's already reported it. Go to him, be real earnest, tell him that you know something's going on and you want to help. I think he would help if he knew what was really going on. Well, you better start deciding which is more important to you, Zach. Friendship or your job, which is to protect Earth. Yeah, but protecting Earth doesn't mean being part of Nightwatch. Well, you were somewhat concerned about where I fit in organizational scheme of things. So I went to the effort of preparing this chart. It's an organization chart. It's easier in PowerPoint. This is the captain. Here's Franklin. Here's my mum and dad. <laughs> I don't actually have anything to do with it. There's a very good picture of them. <laughs> it gets a little confusing around this bit here. but well, Show us so we can see how it all works. Did it make you laugh? Yes. Mission accomplished. Susan, quick, turn on ISN. Oh, what? President Clark has signed a decree today, declaring martial law throughout Earth Central, citing threats to planetary security. So he's now got complete control of Earth. Once they kind of declare martial law, anything goes. They can do pretty much anything and say it's all, they've done it for planetary um, security. We can't tell you why, because of planetary security so it gives them carte blanche for a, a corrupt government like that to do anything they want so yeah that's not a good thing interesting episode um so yeah the shadow well at least the one on mars the shadow ship had been there for a thousand years so that's since the last war um and it, are they alive they are aren't they the ships they have to have somebody inside it to to work. It's like a symbiotic relationship, by the sounds of it. But the ship itself survived for a thousand years, buried on Mars. I mean, that's pretty impressive. And then the one on Ganymede, I would assume, again, been there for the same amount of time pretty impressive they found them both to be honest uh, the earth found them both and dug them up um, and the one on Ganymede they completely dug up and it was all on um, a platform or you know, already and they were sending someone inside yeah so what were they going to do with it they said they were going to send it back to earth to study and yeah that wouldn't have been good if there's two are there more don't know. 
and it makes sense that they would blame then the other ship, the the, the uh, White Star, for the attack. Uh, I, I'm I'm amazed that there's no scans. I mean, the, the Ganymede base wasn't even completely destroyed. It was attacked, and there was definite damage. But I would have still would have thought there'd be scans from there. Although they were obviously hushed up the fact that there was a shadow ship there. But I still would have thought they'd be able to take scans of the area and picked up the White Star. And I wonder if they, if they said that the that the White Star, not knowing what it was, had been destroyed. I wonder if they think it has been destroyed, or if they just said that. I, I think it probably that they said it, but um, they opened the jump point in the atmosphere. There was you know big amount of energy and stuff. It's possible it might have been read as um, uh, as a destructive force of some kind by the Agamemnon. So they might think it actually had been destroyed. Don't know. Um, I, I don't think so, really. Um, I think they just... It's better to say that the enemy's been destroyed than to say that they escaped. Um, it would look weak, and that's the last thing that the president would want at the moment, with all that going on. But, I mean, yeah, now they say martial law, then they can basically scrap all the proceedings going on um, yeah it's wrong time to have all that now we got you know planetary security martial law let's just deal with all that first and it'll never end they'll always be under martial law so yeah that's definitely a position of power that he's in now hmm good episode yeah let me know what you thought about it in the comments below and shall see you for the next one be seeing you.